Hello, and welcome to some late model fixed here at Concord. I'm excited for this one because Concord is a very fun track. Uh, you've heard of the Tricky Triangle. Well, this is the Triangle of Terror, as far as I'm concerned. But uh, honestly, it's, it's a really fun combo here with the late model. I've really enjoyed running laps here so far. I'm um, not sure how fast I'll be. I'll be the number one, and by a decent bit. I just hit 5,000 I rating for the first time, and the number two car is 2.6k, I think. So, a um, lot to lose here, and I'm not sure if I'm really going to be able to back up my I rating, because not so good at short tracks, but that doesn't matter. All I really want here is to have ourselves a good run. All I can really ask for. And uh, hopefully have some fun. One more lap. Bad final corner, I slid through it. P2, that lap was at 16.6. Hopefully have a better second lap here. Very tough here. This is a very tricky... 16.6. Very tricky combo. Very tricky track as I do the spin cycle down the front stretch. Something tells me the second lap wasn't better. Well, that was fun. <laughs> hmm. See, right there is where I think I messed up. If you look closely, here, I'll zoom in here. If you look closely, if I adjust my camera just a little bit to see the fine details, because it's a really small error, but if you look closely right here, I believe that's the problem. If I'm looking at this correctly, I believe that is me. And right there is your problem. Ideally, you want to enter one of these races with someone other than this. <laughs> okay, now that I'm done messing up that camera. We are not going to start very well, I assume. P6 for the moment. It's going to be gamer survival. I mean, that uh, I really wasn't that much far off my best lap. 16.5, so about a tenth off of uh, the best I've ever done. So, um, don't want to be doing this, but at least the first lap was okay for my standards, and uh, we're going to try to not do that during the race. I'm going to put my brake bias up just a little bit, and I'll be ready to put it back down later in the race. I was liking having extra turn there, but it was too loose for me to handle <laughs> into that final corner. So... We're off to a great start. Waiting on the 13. They look like they're doing laps, so that's good. We should be starting off, uh, starting here pretty soon, hopefully. Uh, we've got a 2x before the race starts. I think you get one-third of the impact to safety rating, so whatever that would be. 2x divided by 3. What is that's that, like 0.833333 or something? Silly like that. <laughs> I don't know. P6, we're going to be on the outside as well. Because I obviously needed that. Whoa. For a second, my <laughs> game crashed. That was scary. I um, was just wanting to make sure that that was all ready. And it looks like it is. It's going to be You're tough to be side by side here. Very tough track. Now. I'm hoping we don't get any track blockers. We've got Imposter Gavin up there in the Dr. Pepper car, number 10. <laughs> no real Gavin in here. The 10's got uh, pretty good speed, though, putting it on the pole. And we're going to have Session last lap up. Really don't know how the tires are going to react to 50 laps here. Seems like we're on the right rear a lot, but we're also driving in pretty hard. So I'm just going to try to be smooth anyway. That's probably the fastest way around, regardless. So you're ready to lose some I rating? I am. P6. 
probably going to dip down below 5,000 again. <laughs> but such is the nature of that metric. We need someone to hop in the car, I guess. I'm going to call him out. Who is it? The ninth place starter. Who are you, Joshua? Making us wait. It's fine. He probably he could very well have a good reason. I thought, well, I mean, we were we're getting started pretty quick here anyway. Got to uh, shorten qualifying because everybody's ready. So what what do I even have to complain about? We're already gonna get started here pretty soon. I think I'll just be happy if I make it to the end of this one without doing what I did in qualifying. No barrel rolls. Follow car number zero, two, I'd love to finish like in the top five or something, but I can't even manage to qualify in the top five. So, hey, let's uh, let's go at some point. Daniel Earnhardt's sleep at the wheel and about to run into the guy on the inside. What, what's happening with him? I am already concerned by what I'm seeing. We almost had a crash on the pace lap. Interesting. Pardon me. Trying to catch up. One left to green. I don't think that guy's okay. I think that guy has problems. Be a first gear start. About to go it's green. Second gear. I'll probably regret this, but. Watch that car is off. Time to do your job. Watching Dr. Pepper up there, Imposter Gavin. Can't see him, but we're going. Go. Green, green, green. Car inside. Clear. Okay, just try to file in. Okay, I'm glad I put the brake bias up a little bit. That felt a little bit better. A little more manageable. Very fun track to drive. Let's just hope that we survive. Oh, let's get going, Hot Wheels. It'll be very tough to pass. It's hard enough just to drive around this place, much less find a way to get around somebody. Loose, and the guy ahead was loose too. I had a sympathy loose race car right there. Oh no, he's getting really sideways. How did he keep that much momentum while being that sideways? Uh-oh. What are we about to see? Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Anytime you got car stop down low here, especially that part of the track, you gotta keep your eyes open to what you might see around the bend. For example, this is a lap car. This all over the place. Really gonna lift off for him there. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Car stopped ahead. Oh boy, got more car stopped ahead. Go high. Two X having to avoid him. That's okay. Everybody else <laughs> did it too. There's really no other option there, but the. Smash into the wall, getting around him. He is still stopped up there, presumably. Oh my goodness, this is getting messy. Oh, why are we on the track still with a smoking car? This is treacherous.
pretty fun too, though. Just keeping on Chad's bumper here. I think he might be part of a, the larger Nick and Gavin community, I believe. I've seen his name before. I could be wrong. I, I recognize his name, at, at the very least. Push wide there. That's fine. This lab traffic's really throwing us for a loop. That lap was at 16.8. Go high. Uh, Car stop down low. Car that outside. is very scary. Clear outside if you want it. We just got cars all over the track. You've just done 17.1. It sure is action-packed. Not quite the uh, Silver Crown race we just had, which was pretty darn boring. Hmm. I drove that. Car's getting a little tighter. Like, I don't know how, how you would even, even pass or speak. Oh, I thought the 11 was going to get in the wall and potentially bounce off. Outside. Your lap time was 17.1. Why are you hanging on the outside? Oh, boy. Five lost a lot of momentum on exit there. You've just done a 16.8. Down his inside. Does the car leave in the pit lane? Whew, this is crazy. Slow car down low. Oh, not again. High. Okay, just someone leaving the pits, I went there. Well, shoot, if guys are gonna wreck, they really ought to be guys in front of me, huh? How come it's all guys behind me? I want some free spots. You've just done a 16.9. Hmm. Pretty just equal pace to Chad here, it looks like. It's a little harder than I've been. Through there. Not quite there, but I want to show him my nose a little bit. Try to scare him. I don't want to take him out though. Ooh, why am I getting slideways? Is the right rear gonna be in the shit? He's way up the track. Can't get past him though. This is pretty great racing. No pressure from behind, so at least we've got that going for us. Ooh, he must have had some sort of mistake there. Car ahead. Go high. Gotta get around someone. They were a lap car, so no free spot. I'm gonna tell you guys, we gotta get some free spots here. Finally, some open air. I don't think it mattered too much, though. I think he was just about the same pace as me. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. <laughs> Only halfway. That's kind of funny. You're halfway home. Uh, 17.0. I'm getting a little unsettled. I don't think I need to lower my brake bias. It's still feeling like it's got plenty of turn through there. Did not mean to get that much apron down there. It's not really what I want. See if we can keep in front of him. Like I said, I think we're pretty similar speed, so I wouldn't be surprised if he uh, 
still hanging out back there. One point six ahead, point five behind. I don't know why I hit the brakes that time. I normally only lift into that corner. Doesn't seem to hurt anything though. A little wide there, overdrove that just a bit. That light was at 17.0. You really do not get a break here. You constantly trying something, trying to do something. That's a much better turn three. I need to be doing that more consistently. That lap time was 16.9. Top five at the moment, I would be thrilled with that. Overdrove turn three horribly. <laughs> oh man, that makes such a big difference too. That's multiple tenths you lose if you overdrive that corner. That's better. This would have been a pretty fun one. For uh, season zero of the K5 championship, although it might have ended up a pretty big wreck fest, but this is tough. Lap traffic coming up once again. Hopefully, we can navigate it. Low for some reason. It's swerving all over the track. Okay, get that figured out. Approaching the 13 with a big head of steam. Outside. Tap the brake, make sure I'm keeping down Clear here. Clear outside if you want to. Okay, got around him. I think that went pretty well overall, getting around those guys. Pretty fun, nice length of the race here. You got lots of time to the gap behind is now seconds. get things done. The gap to Campbell ahead is now 1.5. 1.4 ahead. Can we catch this number two? That was a bad first corner, so I'm not going to do it doing that, I bet. Maybe if I can keep consistent in that final corner, I can make some gains. See how much I lost last lap with the bad first corner. Mm, he's pretty fast up there. I'm not sure if I'm going to catch up. Especially with only 10 to go. I'm going to give it my best, that's for sure. It's like I'm drifting through turn three. It's pretty scary, but thankfully it's hooking up for me still. Have traffic. You're gonna catch him. This is one of those tracks that makes you dizzy. Going around in circles around here so quickly. All right, I guess in triangles. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. Is he gonna go high for me? No, he's gonna hit the wall. I guess that's a form of going high. Not really what I was asking for, though. But that was fine. He, uh, he was good. So we did gain some time on the two there. Through lap traffic. The seven's up there too, just ahead of him. Very interesting. Oh, don't do that to me, computer. <gasps> oh, almost a crash. That was scary. 
I saw that coming and I was like, oh. <laughs> Are we going to have a Dale Earnhardt bumping around here? As guys in Dale Earnhardt's games like to do, it seems like. Push, push, push. We can get this position. Pressure him, see if we can make him make a mistake. Lap times are pretty consistent. Goes a little wide there, but not all that much. Have fun though, this is a very good combo. Two left to go. Two to go. Corner. Outside. Two laps remaining. Stay low. Got on his inside. Still there. Hold your line. Outside is clear. White flag this time. Hmm. Had to make sure I didn't push up into him. Flag car ahead. White flag stop the head. Go low. Outside. Outside. Clear outside if you wanted. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Mm. <laughs> Stay low. Wow. Okay. That was crazy. That was falling well, right. We get her on Dale Earnhardt at the end there, though. Good job. That got crazy. Good job. Good race. Good win. I am out of breath. That was real nice to pet up, buddy. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on. Do what you now? Want. I don't think he's talking to me. I don't think I know that guy. Whew. I had to do a cool down lap. So out of breath. Please go please watch that and come back to you again. Please. Oh my oh god, that was nice. I think I got into somebody in some form. I'm not saying it was on purpose. I'm just saying, that's, that's what I'm P4, I'll take it. We lose 14 I rating, uh, but who cares? That is much, that is a very uh, good finish. I'm very happy with that. Top five. 78, 77. So I guess I, could, I did good on tires, unless they're both completely destroyed, which is also a possibility. Whew, dodged some things. Had some intense in a little hard, hard there. there. We're discussing some really accidents. Wanted that template, that buddy. We'll see what they're talking about and more. They really wanted that crystal Pepsi on clearance sale. See lap three. The three gets into the back of the 14. Mm. And then the 14 looks like he's losing it. What happened exactly? It looks like maybe he just got loose into the corner. He's, he's just really trying to navigate it, and there's no room for guys to get by. Yeah, I think I'm that guy into you, Harold. That's not bad, man. Nine into the wall. What happened there? Side by side's very tough. Uh, I think an eight comes up a little bit, but it's it's really difficult. Trying to go side by side through here. Imposter Gavin, I think, got the win. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and then everybody has to dodge this guy. The question is, oh yeah, I ruined that camera <laughs> for my joke. My question is, spawn around right here. Okay, so he can't pull out in front of those guys. My question is, why doesn't he go right here? That's my question. He decides to sit there and stay. Maybe his car's broken he, and he can't. But what he does is he gets down the track and then sits in the way even more. So everybody has to absolutely just squeeze through the top up there. So he's just being an absolute roadblock. If you're going to sit there that long, just tow. In my opinion, but... 
He's sitting up there. But we have to take it into the wall, and that'll bring our 2x for the race. Is he just sitting up there on purpose to cause wrecks at this point? There's no excuse for not having moved by now. I mean, everybody's going low. Or everyone's going high, rather. Like, get out of the way. Everyone's going high. Why is he sitting here? Move. <laughs> and then the 12 just waits. Or the 12 just finds him. A year and a half later, I guess. Like... But why is he sitting on the track for a year and a half? Like, that's exactly where the line is, too. Like, I've got questions. I feel like his race was ruined and he was trying to ruin other people's races because he was upset about it. But... Can't prove that, I guess. So he successfully takes someone out and then just stays on the track. Did he just, like, walk away and go get a Crystal Pepsi? Okay, now he's going. His momentary coma is over, and now he just goes to the pits. If you were going to go in the pits anyway, why didn't you just tow? What? That's a little upsetting, but anyway. Eleven's gonna self-spin. Get stuck on the wall. Six trying to avoid the 12 down there, goes up a little high, and then, whoa, on top of the wall. That was interesting. Gonna keep it on going, though. <laughs> Jocelyn taking the high line. And the eight, in eighth, hits the wall. 14 checks up for him, is able to avoid him. Good awareness. 11 in the wall. I'm gonna get a lot of that. Assume the eight's heading in the wall again. Yeah. Very tough corner. This was how we got past the five. Okay. I see. I don't know if I knew at the time that he got into the wall. Just knew that I got by him, and uh, I was glad. So the eight self spins up there. And imagine that, he toes. Sure uh, didn't take him long. 12 on the wall. The 2, the guy we were chasing down at the end there, is going to get a bite out of the wall. Two corners in a row? No. I'm going to move a little quicker here. Ooh, 7 on entry. I remember this. Whoa, I thought for sure the 7 was going to hook the 2. And Let's go ahead and just watch this, because this was a pretty fun uh, race to the finish here between the three of us. Um, their contact there, I think, helped me catch up enough to be in their battle. I kind of got the rhythm down closer to the end of this thing. Better than I had at the start, I want to say. They make contact there and somehow avoid going around. And I think we had another uh, crash that they had to avoid at some point coming up here. As they get back single file for a little bit, I'm inching closer. I'm feeling pretty good. I never really felt all too bad. It got a little bit tighter, but nothing too significant. Very manageable. Coming to two to go this lap. Oh, that's right. The seven got a bit of wall right there, but I am not able to make the pass after this. I try to stay in it as much as possible, but definitely did not want to drift up and into him. So I was not able to drive very hard. Keep it down here. Just make him think. And it looks like he does go a little wider, just uh, anticipating me jump diving it in. But uh, I did not want to do that. I was not able to get around from it. So how did this go down in the final lap? We had a guy had wrecked. And how does it happen? It happens because these two are fighting for 10th place. 14 dive bombs. 
it looks like, comes up and gets the three. So 14 wrecks him. That's how that happens. And then we are approaching. The Twisted T car decides to go low there. The three is trying to get going right away, leaving space up top. The seven thought he was going to have to bounce off the wall in order to uh, get through, but he actually doesn't bounce off the wall. It gets very close, but I saw that he was rolling down, so I was a little more comfortable cutting it closer. That gets me a better angle into turn two. So I get right around the seven and uh, gained a ton of momentum on the two, and I'm like, hey, can I get this guy in the last corner? So I just keep my line down there and try to push as much as I can, but it's not enough. And thankfully the 7 didn't take me out. It looked like he wanted to try to uh, do like a crossover, but I held my line on the bottom. Thankfully he did not force the issue. So that is the story of how we got ourselves a P4. Uh, <laughs> it stinks losing 14 I rating after what I feel like was a really good race, but I just gotta learn to ignore that and uh, be happy with the run how it was. So, action-packed race here at Concord. Uh, I love I love this track. Um, probably one of my favorite short tracks. Maybe I don't love it. I think I like it a lot. Maybe not love, it's not a favorite, but definitely re relative to other short tracks, I really enjoy this place. So, that'll do it. P4, fun race, fon action-packed race. And I uh, hope you enjoyed following along. I will see you next time, and I hope you have a good one. See you.